Hi everyone. <clears throat> Today we are going to discuss the hybridization concept. So in this hybridization concept, we have to know uh, this value of x values and the types of a hybridization presence. If the value of x is equal to 2, then the hybridization is ASP. If the value, uh, value of x is 3, then you have to uh, say that ASP2. 4 means ASP3, 5 means ASP3D, 6 means ASP3D2, 7 means ASP3D3. If you are getting the value <coughs> lesser than 8, you have to divide it by 2. If the value of x is 9 to 56, then you have to divide it by 8. So let's, by, by using this all values, let's go and uh, solve this problem. Okay. So let's find out the hybridization for first molecules, that is beryllium chloride. So beryllium, we know that the atomic number is 4. Okay. So we know that the electronic configuration 1s2, 2s2. Okay. So 2 comma 2. So the outermost electron is 1d2. Uh, for chlorine, we know that the atomic number is 17. <coughs> so 2 comma 8 comma 7. So the outermost electron is 7. Okay. So how many chlorine is there? So 2 chlorine is there. Okay. So what we have to do? Uh, 2 plus 2 into 7. So total how much we are getting? 2 plus 14. So 16. So we know that if the value is between 9 to 56, then we have to divide it by 8. Okay. So just divide it by 8, you will get the value is 2. So if the value is 2, then the x is what? x is sp. Okay. So the hybridization is sp hybridization. Okay. So it's very simple. Let's go to the next problem for uh, hybridization so we can learn that uh, BF3 boron trifluoride and here <coughs> boron we know that atomic number of a boron is 5 2 comma 3 okay so here fluorine fluorine atomic number is 7 sorry 9 2 comma 7 okay so the outermost electron is for boron 3 and fluorine is 7 okay so one one boron is there we have to find out the x value boron one boron so three the outermost electron is three and three into seven okay so we will get that a three plus twenty one so twenty four divided by eight so we know that <coughs> two eights are sixteen three eights are twenty four okay so the value of x is x value is 3 so 3 means sp2 hybridization okay sp2 hybridization so likewise we have to find out the hybridization so it is very simple uh, trick so you can find out easily by using this data okay let's move to the next problem sum so we can solve this okay so here <coughs> phosphorus pentachloride and here we have to find out the x values phosphorus we know that atomic number is 15 so 2 comma 8 comma 5 so here the outermost electron is 5 so 5 plus 5 into 7 okay we know that the chlorine atomic number is 17 so 2 comma 8 comma 7 okay so what we will get we will get that 5 plus 35 Sometimes the 35, so, so 40, we have to divide by 8, okay. So what we, we will get that x value is 5. 5 means what? 5 means that is sp3 hybridization, sp3 dehybridization. So the hybridization is sp3 dehybridization, okay. Let's move to the next problem sum, <coughs> okay. So next one is xenon. We know that xenon is a noble gas. So the outermost electron is 8. Okay. So x is equal to 8. Fluorine we know that that the outermost electron is 7. Okay. So, so 6 into 7. 6 6 are 36. 7 6 are 42. So 8 plus 42 that we will get 50. 
So we have to divide it by 8. So 5, 8s are 40, 8, 6 are 48. So remainder 2 is there. So remainder 2. So 48, 6, remainder 2, we have to. If the remainder is 2, we have to divide it by again 2, we will get that 1. So 6 plus 1, 7. So if the remainder is any, any numbers, then you have to divide it by 2. So you will get the remainder again 1. You have to add that 1. Okay. So, so the x value is 7. So x value 7 means what is the hybridization? So yes. Yes. You are right. So sp3, d3 hybridization. Okay. So this one only sp3, d3 hybridization. Let's move to the next problem sum. So next one is if7. We know that these two elements are comes under halogen groups. So both are 7 is the outermost electron. So x value that is 7 plus 7 into 7. Because 7 numbers of fluorine is there. So 7 plus 49. So total we are getting that 56. So divided by 8. So 8 h are 64. 7 7 7 8 7 are 56. So 7. Okay, so x value is 7. So if a 7 means, what is the hybridization? Yes, so sp3, d3 hybridization. Okay, very simple, you can find out very easily. So if you are getting this type of a question in the NEET exam, it will be very easy to find out. Okay, please work out in your home and just make it very familiar with you okay so here again yes and f sulfur we know that the outermost electron is six okay so six so we know that that is 16 is the atomic number so two comma eight comma six for fluorine we know that that is two comma seven for a fluorine the outermost electron is seven for sulfur outermost electron is six so x value that is 6 plus 6 into 7. 6 is 36, 7, 6 is 42. So, 42 plus 6, that you will get 48. So, 8. So, you have, you will get that. <coughs> 8, 6 are 48. Okay, so x is equal to 6. Yes. So, x is 6 means, then your hybridization is sp3, d2 hybridization. Very simple no. <clears throat> Let's move to the next one. Here. So far we discussed that all molecules here. The radicals are there. So let's discuss this radical. Okay. So if it is a negative charge means. At last you have to add. If it is a positive. Uh, that is if it contains like a NH4 plus means. You have to minus at last uh, X values. Let's discuss. Okay, so first nitrogen we know that that is atomic number is 7, so 2 comma 5. Okay, so oxygen we know that that is a 2 comma 6. So how many nitrogen is there? X value. So 1 into 5. So 5 plus 2 into 6. So 5 plus 12, 17. So here minus is there, just add. So x value is 18. So you have to divide it by 8. So 2 8s are 16 plus 2 remainder is there. You have to divide that remainder by 2. You will get that 1. So the hybridization is, so x value is 3. Okay, so what it will be the hybridization. Hybridization 3 means sp2 hybridization. Okay, sp2 hybridization. Let's move to the next one. Let's discuss one more problem sums to make it very familiar. So here <coughs> x, nitrogen same, we know that that is 5. 3 numbers of oxygen is there. Outermost electron is 6. So 6, 3 is 18. 18 plus 5, 23 plus 1. Okay, total x value is 24 so you have to divide it by 8 and you will get that 
2 eights are 16, 3 eights are 24. Okay, so x value is 3 means then you will get a hybridization is sp2 hybridization. Okay, very simple. Let's move to the <coughs> two more problem sums related to the hybridization concept. Okay, the acid radicals are there. Here basic radicals are there. So here the carbon, we know that atomic number is 6 and 2 comma 4. Oxygen that is 2 comma 6. So x value that is 4 plus 3 into 6. So total 18 and here 22 plus 2 because see here 2 minus are there. So x value is 24. So you have to divide it by 8 and you will get that 3 are 34. So x value is 3. So if x value is 3 then the hybridization is sp2 hybridization. Okay. So sp2 hybridization. Okay. The last one. <coughs> so here last one let's move to the last one so nitrogen we know that atomic number is 7 2 comma 5 okay and the hydrogen we know that only one okay so here x is equal to 5 plus 4 into 1 and here total 9 will come here positive charge is there so we have to minus so x value is 8 so if the value is 8 we have to divide it by 2 okay so divided by 2 you will get that 4 so if x value 4 means sp3 hybridization yes so it's a very simple okay please try it in, it in your home and make it very familiar and here few problem sums for you just to work out and put it uh, i put the answers in comment box thank you all